Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this video. This is gonna be a little bit different than some of the other stuff that I've done. Um, I wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek behind the scenes when I set up an Etsy order. Um, so if you were to ever order anything from my shop, this is the kind of stuff that uh, you would receive and this is the packaging that you'll see. Um, so I thought you might be interested in seeing that. I also wanted to give you just a quick update since we're in between uh, floss tubes and just kind of chat with you a bit. So. This will be sort of a pack and chat. So um, as you can see, I'm gonna include one of my business cards here. Um, I need an autofocus camera. I'm gonna have to invest in that shortly. <laughs> um, but this is one of my business cards. Handwritten thank you on the back because I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, anybody who orders through my Etsy shop, you are supporting a small business owner um, and I'm becoming more and more official with my small business owning. Um, in fact, I have just recently actually registered my business. I'm getting ready to get an official business license in my locality. So uh, it will not be long before I am like super, super duper official. And the reason I'm doing all of that stuff is so that in addition to selling through Etsy, um, I can work towards having a physical location in my area. Um, I would like to become a local stitching or needlework shop, uh, one of your LNSs. So um, this is something that I'm working towards, but in order to do that, I have to get um, my online sales off and running so that I have some capital to support all of that other stuff. So, um, you know, just kind of wanted to give you all an idea of where the money goes when you purchase things from me. So uh, this particular purchaser uh, is, uh, I'm not going to to say her full name um, because, um, you know, just for privacy and all that sort of stuff. But uh, Katie has ordered these two beautiful needle slash cover minders. Um, and actually I should have shown you this. So these particular um, style of cover and needle minders have a nice big strong magnet on the back. Um, and then I uh, include these super thin um, metal plates on the back um, and the reason I do this is because if you're diamond painting this is nice and thin it's super super thin um, if you wanted to and you have a permanent work surface you can actually peel this off and stick it straight on your surface so that you have a specific place um, that your plate always stays uh, and this blue is just um, a film coating to protect the metal so if you wanted to you could put you could take this off put stickers on it uh, you know whatever you'd like to do but it uh, it sticks on nice and securely and then you put that you put this piece underneath your canvas if you're using it for a cover minder and then you put this on top of your canvas and your canvas paper um, so that you can hold that back and keep it out of the way so also works great for a needle minder you just stick your needle right to the top because this is domed you can kind of see um, the needle is not going to stick straight on top like that it will kind of stick to these metal pieces on the side but still really great for a needle minder so and you know, basically the same principles with this other one. It's just a little bit smaller, slightly different style with the setting there. But uh, but yeah, so those are a couple of examples of the needle minders I have, I'm making currently. I'm gonna be adding more and more to the shop. I'm working on a bunch of different designs now, hoping to get those added maybe on a weekly basis going forward. Um, I'm also gonna be adding in, um, if you've watched one of my recent videos about all the stuff that I found in my garage, um, a bunch of those kits are actually gonna be going into my Etsy shop. Um, a few of them I have chosen to give away as thank you gifts um, for getting 100 subscribers. So I'm actually currently, as of the filming of this video, I'm at 150 and I cannot even believe it. You guys don't know how much I appreciate the fact that you, you guys like what I'm doing and that you're there um, watching the videos, commenting on the videos and you know just kind of being there and being supportive. It's super awesome. Um, I'm really happy to meet you all and happy to have you. So um, as a thank you, um, in my last floss tube, I did discuss what I might give away or what I was planning on giving away. So if you're interested in maybe getting one of those thank you gifts, um, check that out. I'll try to put a link to, um, to that in the bottom of this video here. So, um, and you have until I post my next floss tube, which uh, as of the filming in this video, and it's February 8th, I think it's a Saturday, whatever that Saturday is, <laughs> um, is when I'm filming this. So you have at least a week from now um, to get your entries in for those gifts. So just check out my last floss tube, floss tube number seven, I believe. So the next one where I announce who's going to get those, um, and I'm going to draw those names right before I do that video. Um, so um, floss tube number eight will be where I announce that. So uh, hoping to get 
that set up but also um, as I as I was saying the um, the kits that I decided I'm not keeping but that I'm not giving away as thank you gifts um, those I will be um, putting on my Etsy page putting in my Etsy store very soon um, so definitely keep an eye out for that I know a couple of you had expressed interest in certain of those and uh, you know those will be available for purchase um, and I think what I might do and <laughs> saw a cat foot. Uh, I think what I might do um, is actually put a special code in my next floss tube video um, for all of my viewers who might be purchasing those kits. I'll put a special discount code for you in the next video. So make sure you're checking out that floss tube. Um, I like to put stickers on my <laughs> on my little packages. I think it makes it a little bit more special. So uh, Katie's. Uh, needle minders are all packaged up there so now I'm just going to drop it right into the envelope um, I have her um, her packing slip right here I'm not going to open it up it's got lots of her personal information in there um, I do put a personal uh, note in each one of these so I've already written my thank you to her and I'm sending that so I've got that all packaged up goes in this beautiful purple envelope um, obviously you are not going to get um, blue painters tape on your envelope when you receive yours <laughs> but I want to make sure that nobody's information is is getting out on the internet when they did not ask for that to happen so and then I'm going to seal this up nice and tight in this beautiful purple envelope uh, purple is my favorite color um, so that is uh, that is the color of all the packages that I send out um, these bubble mailers are super great for needle minders and that sort of thing they protect them on the way out to wherever they're going whether they're going in uh, in country or out of country I do ship internationally um, and um, you know the uh, the kits I will probably put maybe not in bubble mailers but in uh, in plastic sleeves to make sure that they will be protected from any kind of weather and that sort of thing but I package everything nice and safely so that it gets to you in perfect condition or at least as close to perfect as the mail will allow so that's what we have here um, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek too of some stuff that I'm working on so this is um, something that I have in the works so I'm thinking that this would be uh, a needle minder. You can see that this is, um, or actually it could be a cover minder as well. You can see it's fairly large. Um, and I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think if I have a ruler here, I think I can sneak a ruler in. So I'll also give you a sneak peek. This is my 24 hours of cross stitch planner. I have finally, finally gotten it into a form that I'm finally gonna use. <laughs> More about that in my next plus two. Um, Pardon the noise. Okay, so here's a ruler. So this is gonna be, so this is about two and a half inches long by uh, an inch and three quarters tall. So it's fairly large. Um, so I think uh, folks might be more interested in this for a cover minder maybe versus a needle minder, but I think it's really kind of cool. Um, I've got a lot of different um, ideas for motifs and stuff like that. So I'm working on this, getting it finished and that kind of stuff. And I'll have some of these in the shop, hopefully within the next month or so. Um, it'll just depend on how long it takes me to perfect um, the actual item because I do like to make sure that everything I'm, here comes the cat again, everything that I'm making for you um, is of a quality that I would want to receive. So if I can't get it up to snuff, then it won't end up in the shop. So just FYI. Um, and uh, you know, if you, if you think that this is something that you'd be interested in, let me know if you have um, ideas for motifs and stuff that you'd like to see that you're not seeing, let me know. Uh, right now I have lots of cute chibi animals that I'm going to be doing. Um, I have some coffee and cakes and foods um, because I love coffee and pastries and things like that. So, <laughs> so I basically go with things that I love and I hope that you will love them too. Um, but yeah, so that's coming up. Um, and the, uh, the kits that I found, um, those almost vintage kits that I found, some of those will be going up for, uh, for sale on Etsy. And then I have a lot of really exciting things coming down the pike as well, since, um, as I said, I'm, I'm like two seconds away from becoming official official, which means that I'm going to be looking to, um, to do some partnering with some other businesses, um, and hoping to have some really exciting things coming to the shop soon. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and uh, I will see you hopefully next week for floss tube. Thank you all. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.